that's a no. Here's the thing. Yes, I gained weight. And a lot of you guys sure didn't mind reminding me about that. And I basically wanted to come on and do this video for you guys and just tell you that Throughout my journey of weight loss, weight gain, weight fluctuation, I have learned it's okay. As we all know, a couple years ago, I went through a pretty dramatic weight loss experience and I documented it for you guys, but I definitely didn't do the best job at showing all of the downsides. I feel like I only showed you a highlight reel of all of the best parts, how much weight I was losing, how much fun I was having and how easy it was for me. And little did I know that the unhealthy way that I was doing it actually was going to cause detrimental harm in the long run. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys today because as you know, I have been struggling to get back onto my healthy grind of working out regularly, eating clean again. And honestly, it's been really, really hard for me. And I decided this time around that I just wanted to be real with you guys and actually share with you the downsides and the hard times and not just make it look so, so easy because it's not an easy thing. So throughout the past few years of my weight loss journey, I've definitely learned what I was doing wrong and what I wish I could have done better. Back when I was at my heaviest and my most unhealthy state, I guess you could say, I was so unhappy, not because of the way that I looked, but because I was so unconfident in myself. I felt like that transferred over to even like relationships and I just never stood up for myself. I was always letting people walk all over me. I was never working out. I seriously went, I think like three years without even taking like a walk outside. Actually, I took one workout class and I threw up in it, I remember. I was eating literally whatever I wanted at any point of the day, which was really fun. As a foodie, it was really fun. But in retrospect, that wasn't very healthy. So when I decided to change my lifestyle and start doing my weight loss journey. I cut everything cold turkey. I started working out three times a day. If I wasn't even getting like two workouts in, I was really upset with myself. I was so hard on myself. I ended up socially isolating myself. My whole day would revolve around my workouts and what I was eating. I went from one extreme to the other, both unhealthy in their own different ways. Since that, obviously my healthy living that I was doing was not sustainable whatsoever, which is why I've gained some of the weight back, but also, I've learned so much and I would rather be where I am now and mentally so much better than looking better and striving for that skinny body that I was, which was for all the wrong reasons. I feel like just talking to you mentally right now, I'm in such a better place and I feel like it's very apparent as well. Coming back around, I feel like I have so much more to learn, so much more to teach people in the healthiest way possible. Trust me, if I learned anything of getting back into the grind and getting back into the routine, it's that you want results now. Putting in the work is really fucking hard. What's up? It's 7 a.m. Time to start this workout, which I really don't wanna do. During morning workouts especially, your girl needs pre-workout. Two of this. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on your nose. Let's go work out. I'm finally getting back into a normal routine of working out and I have lost all strength, all endurance and it's really discouraging when I get back onto the cycling bike where I used to be able to go for an hour and a half without stopping and now I can't even make it three minutes. But I had to realize I have to start back at square one and that's fine, at least I'm moving my body. Honestly, being back on that bike took me back to when I took my first class ever when I was at the most unhealthy point. But I know how much work I put in to be able to get to the point where I was able to go for so long and I was so strong. So I know that I'm gonna be able to get back to there again, eventually, in probably a very long time, but I have to be patient. I hate cardio so much. Turn this baby on. Oh, I gotta plug it in. That's how infrequently I use it. All right, let's do this. Tell me when it's going. It's going. How many minutes? Like 10 minutes in? Oh, Kelly Clarkson's on. Kelly Clarkson! Mm. I can't stay on the beat, and I'm not nearly going as like intense as I used to be able to. I'm happy to be doing it again. What else should I say? Fuck. Um, oh my God. You're doing amazing. Thank you, babe. You seriously doing amazing. It's so hard. You're very sweaty. How did I used to do this so much? <laughs> no, not so close. <laughs> okay, back to my class. Oh my God, you're so fast. It's really embarrassing for me. I look at old photos, I look at old videos, and as much as I'm saying how 
much I've learned and I've changed. Also, I'm a human being, I'm hard on myself, but I keep reminding myself how the reason why I'm doing this now isn't to look a certain way, it's to make myself healthier and also help heal my PCOS so that hopefully one day I can have kids. Hopefully one day I don't have problems getting pregnant. Just be happier and healthier and live a longer life. I used to spew this out and I feel like I was never being truthful and I feel like now I truly am because I'm happy how I am now and I'll be happy no matter where I am. I'm just doing this for my future and hopefully for my kids one day. Honestly, the hardest part for me has been diet. Obviously with quarantine, I've been eating a lot of snacks. I'm home all the time. The fridge is right here. It's been really hard for me to get back into eating clean and not ordering takeout all the time. And I don't want to eat a salad. Down. I'm hungry. Hello. Hugs. Just some hugs. All right, chicken and salad mix in the bowl. I'm gonna add some of these sunflower seeds and almonds now for some crunch. Honestly, it's not that good. But honestly, I think it's just because I haven't eaten salads in a long time and I need to get accustomed to eating salads again. Okay. All right. The hardest part for me with my recent PCOS diagnosis is that I've learned from a specialist that carbs are not good for my body specifically because I already have high insulin, carbs turn into sugar, that spikes my insulin even more. So I've been trying to wean myself off of them, but I have all these conflicting thoughts where, you know, diet culture taught me carbs are bad. Then I had to change my mindset into like, carbs are okay to have, you know, you can have rice, you can have sweet potatoes, like healthy carbs are good, especially in moderation. But then I hear from another specialist saying like, carbs are possibly the worst thing I could have for my body. But ultimately now I've just learned that carbs might not be good for me because of my health problems, but carbs for other people are amazing and they help give you energy and they're good for you. You need to figure out what's best for you, what makes you feel the best, what works for you the best. Take inspiration from other people, but you know your body the best, so listen to that. The last thing that I needed to do to get to this place was be real with myself. I was so embarrassed at the fact that I had done so many weight loss videos, so many fitness videos. I literally was like trying to be a fitness influencer at one point when I am not qualified whatsoever. Even though you can obviously see on videos and pictures and things that I had gained weight, I was so embarrassed to admit it to my audience and to myself. I'm definitely still struggling with it, but I think once I realized that it's okay and it's natural to fluctuate and I'm never gonna be the same body type for my entire life, like even when I lost the weight, I wasn't the same as before. Even when I gained some weight back, I wasn't the same as before. I was able to finally do things that I had been putting off for so long. Welcome to my guest room. So if you can tell behind me, there is a plethora of clothing back here. These were all picked actually by my stylist, Tyler, who I love so, so much. About six months Months ago, we actually decided to do a main channel video where I was getting styled for quarantine by him. He picked out so many cute looks, made these like spreadsheets, like went all out for it. And I still feel so bad to this day because I actually never filmed it, as you guys probably know. I mentioned that I was gonna do it on the vlog channel and then I just never was able to bring myself to do it because I was so scared that the clothes weren't gonna fit. I literally haven't worn the clothes, I haven't touched them. I had like a couple friends come over and like pick stuff out that they liked, but I have been far too scared to wear anything other than just like big baggy shirts as of lately, which like this is cute, but I just haven't been wanting to wear anything but this. Even getting up in the morning to work out, I dread putting on leggings or sports bras or anything because nothing really fits me anymore. And obviously this is a very first world problem and obviously also I did it to myself, but it still just kind of sucks. And it's not a fun feeling. Um, and I'm mad at myself because I've been through this before. And I've felt this way before so many times in my life and I try to lose the weight and most of the time it doesn't work and I would always say that when I went through my fitness journey the first time was that, you know, I went through it so many times and it, it didn't stick until now and I never knew and I never thought that I'd be back in this place here again where I am. I think I've been keeping these clothes here for months and months and months because I'm like, well, maybe one day it's gonna fit again. Like maybe, you know, in a little bit, I'll be able to wear them and that might be true, but I feel like it's actually really bad for me to be keeping all these things here. So honestly, just right now, I wanted to like try them on with you guys and if they fit, awesome. If they don't, that's still fine. And I just need to donate it or do something with it and just get it out of the house because I feel like this is not good to have here. So yeah, let's see. Just to show you guys how incredible Tyler is, he literally went through and like put looks together with like pictures of everything. He's literally the best stylist in the entire world. He even got these like pink wardrobe covers. Oh God. 
that's a no. These jeans are so cute and I kept looking at them on the rack, but I just, I know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Hard no. Oh, I can't even get this one over my head, so that's a no. Hello. How's it going? Good, just having a breakdown about my life. I'm just gonna come hug you. Thank you. You know how he delivered it so long ago? Yeah. I was just always too scared to do it because I didn't think the stuff would fit. So I it fit. I just never thought I'd like be in this place again with my weight. Because I thought for sure the first time I'd like keep it all off. Okay. <gasps> Wait! Be my bruiser! Overall consensus. Most of the stuff doesn't fit. Some of the stuff does fit. For real guys, they're just clothes. It's not a big deal. I don't know what I was scared about. Sure as hell didn't bite me. <laughs> Maybe pinch me because it was too tight though. I am so, so, so happy that I ended up where I am today. Weight gain, weight loss aside, I am mentally the healthiest I have ever been. And I have so much more to go, but I'm excited to share the ups and the downs with you guys. If you resonated with any of this, remember, be gentle with yourself. Starting over is gonna be hard, but it's gonna be so worth it. Love yourself at every phase and just be real with yourself. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.